Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, honestly, I haven't had a lot of time over the past couple of days to play Dokkan, which explains the lack of content on the channel recently. And of course, I want to apologize for that, but now that I actually have some time, I've really been looking forward to showcasing the new Fizz Kefla, well, new in quotes, Fizz Kefla Extreme Z Awakening on Global. And even though I'm super, super, super late to this, I'm still gonna do it anyways. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. And uh, with that said, as always, we'll start with a quick overview of Kefla's Extreme Z Awakening details, and then we'll jump into the gameplay. So her leader skill is Patara types, or sorry, Patara category, E plus three, HP attack and defense plus 160%, super attack, raises defense and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And her passive is changes int key spheres to fizz key spheres. Attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attack, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack and plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking with six or more fizz key spheres obtained. And for her skill orbs, she has a level 2 crit, a level 3 attack, which gives her 600 attack as opposed to the regular, you know, 300. And also a level 4 crit gold skill orb, which gives an additional 300 attack as well. So some really good skill orbs right there. And her links are not the best, definitely not the worst. They're not level 1, but nowhere close to maxed out. So that is the Fizz Kefla that we're showcasing today. And uh, with that said, this is the team. We got a Universe 6 slash uh, Universe Survival Saga team. And the event is the GT Legendary Goku event. So on this first rotation, I think we're actually gonna put the, let's put the Kaba in the first slot. And then we can give him these STR orbs. Uh, Kefla is starting with only 63,000 defense, but after we give her these Fizz Orbs, it's gonna go up to 136,000, which obviously is much better. And since she does stack defense with every single super attack, she should be very, very tanky by the end of this event. But we'll see. Okay, so Kaba is starting off pretty good with 2.2 mil attack. Let's see how Efla compares to that. Okay. Here we go. She she compares pretty favorably, I would say. Uh, 4.3 mil for the first super. Additional super, same attack stat of course because she doesn't build attack, but that is... No way, okay, so I was 100% sure that we would kill Goku, but he somehow survived. That's fine, though. That's fine. Two really good supers on turn one, guys. 4.3 mil times two. So essentially, uh, that was 8.6 mil of attack stat in the first turn. Yeah, really, really good right there. And uh, on this rotation, doesn't really matter what we do. Let's just give a few orbs to everybody. Of course, I want to make sure that the uh, tech Kale and Khalifla are supering as often as possible since... They need to stack up as well. So the other rotation is probably going to be... You know what? I'm not going to do Kaba and Kefla. I'm probably going to do LR Kale and Khalifla and Kefla. And then this rotation is going to be the Tech Kale and Khalifla. And uh, anybody else doesn't really matter. Maybe, maybe Kaba, maybe Hit. Although Kaba and the Tech Kale and Khalifla would make the most sense since they both need to stack, right? But let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, yeah, the hits are hitting pretty hard, but you guys know he's a monster now with the Extreme Z Awakening. And ooh, this is going to be good. Okay, so now we have the support from Kaba and also the links from the uh, LR Kale and Khalifla. Unfortunately, we are missing the orbs. So we can't get six orbs here. We're going to give her five orbs. And they're not fizz orbs anyways. So 
I guess it really wouldn't have mattered if, even if it was 6. But uh, 174,000 defense is great. Her attack stat is going to take a pretty big hit though. Because we didn't get the 6 orbs. And we also got less orbs anyways. And this is going to hurt. Not as much as I thought it would though. I thought it would hurt so much more guys. But instead, we only took 82k, so that's just fine to me. That's just fine. Yo, what is up with her leaving enemies alive, though? That's twice now, right? That's back-to-back -back turns where we got them down to, I don't know, 0.1% HP. It's kind of weird. It's a little weird. All right. So uh, on this turn, I'm going to put the... Ailen Khalifa there, I think they'll be fine, even with not a lot of defense. And uh doesn't really matter who we keep here, whether it be Hit or Vegeta. I guess we'll keep Hit, um, because why not? And uh, yeah, just keep building up the Ailen Khalifa. Uh, hopefully we don't kill the GT Goku, but I have a feeling Hit probably will do it as he just hits really hard no pun intended but he does hit really really hard so the uh, Kefla so far we saw two different versions right we saw the one version with the six plus fizz key spheres getting a ton of attack 4.3 mil on the first turn and then the other turn was uh, you know a little bit less impressive right 2.1 I think but that was with five orbs and not uh, six and also, you know, you have to have six Fizz Key Spheres, so... Um, wait, how many Key Spheres did we get in the first first turn? Was it eight? So, definitely a big difference when you don't get the six Fizz Key Spheres. But the good thing is, she is an Orb Changer, so it's going to be, you know, much easier than normal to get the requisite number of Key Spheres. Now, as you can see on this turn... Um, I'm trying to see how we can play this to get the most Fizz Key Sphere. So if we give these to the Killing Khalifa, uh, we actually got six. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> that was dumb luck. That was 100% dumb luck. Um, 241,000 defense now, guys, with the, the, the nine Key Spheres. And, uh, of course, we are getting the attack buff, the additional attack buff, because we got six of them being Fizz. That was not fun. I should have been a little bit more careful there. Definitely should have been a little bit more careful there. But it's fine. Um, you know, because these girls, they stack their defense too. So I'm sure uh, they'll be more than tanky enough after these couple of attacks. Never really concerned about them. Even though, yeah, it still kind of hurts to see 250k. Um, I think this should be the last super, and then we'll see the Kefla. I'ma say over 5 mil for sure. It's gotta be over 5. Actually, no, maybe just around 5. Oh no, wait, never mind, we don't have support. What am I saying? Yeah, what am I saying? We, uh, lost the Kava support, so... This makes sense, we got the dodge. 30% chance to dodge, very nice. Um, so damn, yeah, I wish we had Kaba that turn, because it probably would have been at least close to 5 mil for that one super. An additional super would have been great, but as you guys know, things don't always work out the way you want them to. Uh, the tech killing Khalifa up to almost 250,000 now, which is good. I like to see that. And we should be able to finish off the... Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku here. And then we have the Golden Great Ape, which is always terrifying. Um, we'll probably have to pop an item there. Most likely a Princess Snake. Let's see. I do like the fact that we're getting double supers back to back like this. And uh, there's Hit with 5.8 mil. <laughs> that is wonderful. And that should do it. Yep. All right, so golden great ape time. Um, I'm going to for sure pop the princess snake. 
because we just have to. And is there a way to get those Fizz Key Spheres? This is kind of tricky, actually. I could do this, but man, I, am I really going to put the Kefla in front of two attacks in the first slot? I'm, I don't know. Three attacks, actually. My bad. So it's two attacks before we attack, and then one more attack after. <sighs> it's going to be an interesting test. It's going to be an interesting test, but why not? Let's go for it. Eight orbs. We do get the uh, six plus Fizz Key Spheres, so we get the attack boost. And uh, this is really dumb. Really, really dumb. But screw it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. 56. There's a super. It's going to do... That's actually... Really solid tanking. Yo, that's really, really solid. And I'm not just saying that because we're showcasing the Kefla, right? Um, that is legit very impressive, guys. Because most Fizz units in that position would have been destroyed, man. And for her to only take, you know, only, quote-unquote, 250k from one of the hardest-hitting enemies in the entire game, no question. Um, even with the Princess Snake active, I think is mad impressive because if we didn't have the Princess Snake active, we still would have survived. You know, with the 30% damage reduction, we took 250k, so let's say without the 30% damage reduction, we take, you know, worst case scenario, 400k. That still would have been okay. That still would have been fine. So, damn. Yo, shout out to Fizz Kefla, man. Her defense is really impressing me. Um, I initially thought that it would be mainly the, the offense, right, that would be the highlight, but her defense has been very, very good up to this point. Yeah, I mean, of course, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku will test that, and uh, I'm still very much nervous for that phase, but up until the Golden Grade 8, she's been doing great offensively and defensively. And now she's actually going to shine a little bit because we have the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Or sorry, the uh, not full power, the regular Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And let's see. Um, I'm not sure if four or six Fizz Key Spheres is possible here. Yeah, I don't think so. So if we do this, that's still going to give us only four. Uh... Alright, it's just one of those turns. It's not gonna happen. But let's see what she can do. Man, it sucks too, because we just got the Kaba. Yeah, we just got Kaba, and we, we, we can't get the additional boost. So, it's probably gonna be a pretty mediocre turn. I mean, at least defensively, she'll be fine, but offensively, you know, we're looking at probably 2 mil or so. Could be a lot better. For sure. Um, of course, LR killing Khalifla. They're gonna do their thing. They're probably gonna get at least one more super here. Or maybe not. Nope. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Under two mil this turn. Super unfortunate. Super, super unfortunate. Ah. <sighs> It is what it is, guys, you know. Um, she's going to be a little bit inconsistent, as all nukers in this game are. Uh, that's just how it is, man. Like, when, when she's on, yo, when you get, like, the right situation, you get the right amount of orbs, she's going to be amazing. But when you can't get it, she's still going to be really good defensively, right? She's not losing any defense. She's still gaining defense. Even if you don't get six plus Fizz Key Spheres, it's just whenever you can get that, it's amazing because she just goes off. Um, okay, let me let me do this. Let me put the Killing Khalifa in the middle, and I'm definitely going to give the Dokkan attack to uh, Vegeta for sure. And I'm trying to think if we actually need an item just for the the hit or the Killing Khalifa in case we get supered. I don't think we need it, but I'm just going to pop an Aider to be extra safe. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's a good move. Okay, so let's do that. 
Uh, we're going to save those int slash fizz key spheres for the Kefla next turn. And let's get this token attack off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Yo. It's been a couple days, but I haven't lost my touch, apparently. I haven't lost it, man. It's been a couple videos now where we haven't missed a single circle for the Dokkan attacks. Here we go. This should do a decent amount here. Alright, 2.2. Of course, additional. Not a surprise there. Mm-hmm. Oh, one more. All right. So while Vegeta's going off, um, I want to say, hope you guys had an amazing holiday season. Of course, it's still ongoing for a lot of people. So uh, yeah, enjoy it, guys. You know, the year's been tough. We're almost in 2022 now, but it's not looking like it's going to be any different, at least so far. In fact, things are looking kind of rough out there. So um, yeah, enjoy this time with your family, your loved ones. I don't want to sound like super morbid or anything, you know, I don't want to <laughs> be all like doom and gloom, but it's 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 been a rough couple of years, man. It's not just this year, it was last year. It was, um, you know, some, maybe some of the year before that too. I don't even know how long it's been, honestly. I don't know how long our lives have been like in this state. And I'm not gonna get into too many specifics because I've been told, you know, the algorithm doesn't like that. But, what I'm trying to say is, uh, gotta try to find the happiness in every aspect of life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great time. Um, relax, you know, spend time with your loved ones, and, uh, play some games, you know, play some Dokkan, watch some anime. I've been watching, uh, well, not a new show, but a new anime for me. It's called, uh, The Devil's a Part-Timer. Right, it's about like the devil from like a different world um, getting sent to Earth and then it'd be, oh, 4.6, 4.6, that's huge. And then uh, he has to like become like a part-time worker at like a McDonald's basically. Or, well, it's called McRonald's in the show because they can't say McDonald's, but basically he's like a cashier or, actually no, he's not a cashier. He's like a, he becomes like a manager or whatever, but either way, he's like a part-time worker. <laughs> And uh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I don't want to get into too many specifics because I don't want to give it away, but it's uh, highly recommended. Highly recommended. So if you need a new show to watch, new anime to watch, go check that one out. Of course, Demon Slayer is back. Um, we got Attack on Titan uh, Final Seasons Part 2 in a couple days, or maybe just over a week. Sometime in early January, I know that. I don't remember the exact date, but... It's close, guys. It's very close. So a lot of good stuff to look forward to on the horizon. Um, okay, so we are now in the final phase. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I am going to... Well, honestly, I don't think we need an item here. I don't think we need an item here. In fact, I'm going to do this and I'm going to not transform the Kefla yet, or the Khalifla into Kefla, or sorry, the Killing Khalifla into Kefla, but I want to eventually uh, get this one and the Fizz Kefla together because they share six links with each other, and I think it'd just be a really fun rotation. So uh, here we go. We don't need an item this turn because everyone is mad tanky. We'll be fine with no items, especially Vegeta. If there's going to be Super Anywhere, it's most likely going to be on Vegeta, because there's like 50 attacks in the first slot. And uh, he's going to eat those like it's nothing. Right, I mean, it, it's SSB Vegeta we're talking about. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, also... One other thing, speaking of playing games, I've recently got a really nice gaming computer, gaming laptop actually. So initially, I set out to buy a work computer, but then I was like, if I'm gonna get a computer for work, I might as well get a nice one. And then, you know, after a lot of searching, talking to people, it ended up being a gaming PC from uh, Lenovo. It's a Lenovo Legion 7 Gen 6, I think it's called. It's Legion something. 
Lenovo Legion something. And uh, for you computer people out there, I'm not super like technical like that, but I know the specs are a Ryzen 7. Uh, one sec, hold on. Let me let me let me focus on this. Let me focus on this. Let's get these ones. Okay, and that's gonna be two, three, four, five, six orbs, six six fizz key spheres. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so those for her. And why don't we just to be safe? Off the Princess Snake for the Kaelin Khalifla and uh, give these to hit. So, yeah, it's a uh, Legion 7, uh, Ryzen 7 5800H processor, I think, and then uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, the graphics card is a GTX 3070. Could have gone for the 3080, but it was quite a bit more, and my friend told me. You don't need it that much, so I went for the 3070, which apparently is still very good. And then two terabytes uh, SSD. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So yeah, pretty good computer, at least for my standards. It could be better, of course. There are still, you know, places to upgrade, but uh, it can essentially play any game that I want. And uh, I've actually been playing a pretty old game, Witcher 2, from 2011, on Ultra, of course. And uh, it's been great, man, because The Witcher 3 is my favorite game of all time. And even though I've read some of the books, I never actually played Witcher 1 or 2. And I started with Witcher 1, but it was rough, man. Witcher 1 is just so outdated at this point, and the combat like system is very different from Witcher 3. And I just could not get used to it, could not get into it. So after like five hours, I uh, kind of gave up, honestly. And just decided to... One sec. Uh, why don't we pop an Android 8? Let's just be extra super, super safe here. And give these to Vegeta. Um, we'll give these ones to Kaba. And those to Hits. Hopefully we can still leave uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 alive for one more attack with uh, Kefla. But anyways, um, yeah, I tried Witcher 1 after like five hours, I gave up and I just went on YouTube and found this really funny synopsis, like a 20 minute video that a guy made just going through the story of Witcher 1. And now that I'm up to date with uh, what happened there, I can just play Witcher 2 in peace. And yo, for a game from 2011, it's aged very well. You know, like it's not quite obviously on the same level as Witcher 3, but you can see like the evolution from like Witcher 2 to Witcher 3, I guess. Like Witcher 2 had a lot of the same ideas, a lot of the same mechanics that Witcher 3 perfected. And I'm really enjoying it. I mean, for me, Witcher is really about the, the story anyways, but it was just really hard to get through the gameplay for, damn it. Ah, oh, man, I saw Goku was still alive and I got really excited to launch one more attack with Kefla, but as you can see, it's not happening. It's not happening. It uh, closed the show. So there you go, guys. Um, either way, we still saw some very impressive things from Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. I gotta say, defensively and offensively, she was amazing, even when she wasn't great offensively on turns where we didn't get six Fizz Key Spheres. Um, she still was defending very well, and then we actually got six plus Fizz Key Spheres pretty often, you know, like I would say more than half the time. So it's not really an uncommon occurrence. Um, she's a fantastic, fantastic unit now. But finishing my story, basically, uh, I just couldn't get over the, the clunky gameplay of Witcher 1. But I wanted to know the story, watch the video, Witcher 2 is awesome. If you guys haven't really, you know, been introduced to the series yet, you haven't played any games, Bro, play Witcher 3, don't worry about the other two, just just play the game, you'll still get everything, or most things at least, and uh, it's just an awesome experience, man. It's literally, in my opinion, the best video game ever made. Like, not even close. It's the best game I've ever played, and uh, I think it's probably gonna stay that way for forever, because I don't really see how the game could get better than Witcher 3, you know? But, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, this is a Kefla showcase. This is a Dokkan video and uh, 
that is the video, guys. Yo, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are somehow seeing Super Saiyan 2 Careful as EZA for the first time. What you think about it? What's your, you know, overall assessment of it? I think it's amazing, man. I was very excited for it, and it did not let me down in any way. Like, I wish it was a little bit more consistent, maybe. She could put out the uh, big damage a little bit more often, but... That's just a nitpick. I can't really complain about anything about this unit. And uh, aside from that, that's it. That's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.